Hello everyone, my name is The Demented Salad and this is going to be a video tutorial on how to install the Classic Rebirth mod, the Speedwinning Edition mod and the new door and cutscene skip mod for Resident Evil 2 on the GOG version. There's not really much to do when you install the game, just simply install it and manage installation, choose the language you want and then open the install folder. Then we're going to want to go to these links here. I'm going to leave all of them in the description so it's going to be easy for you all to see them and find them. So first things first, we're going to want to install the official 1.1.0 patch by Sourcenext. And then we're going to want to go over to this link for the conversion patch for RE2. Once those are both downloaded, head back to your install folder and then open both of the downloads. Now what we're going to want to do here is, let me exit out of this really quickly. And we're going to want to drag the Bio2 1.1.0 exe into the main install folder. This is what you're going to be opening the game via when you're using Classic Rebirth. And then we're going to want to go into the Source Next 1.1.0 folder in the conversion patch and drag everything from it into the main install folder. Um, this is basically going to allow the game to recognize Classic Rebirth and be able to run from it, whereas normally if you try to launch it without this, it's going to give you a bunch of errors and not work. Um, then we're going to want to go into the classic rebirth folder, into the DLL folder, and then into another folder and drag the ddraw DLL into the main install folder. It's going to replace the one that was in there. And now we have classic rebirth installed. So essentially, you can just open the bio2.1.0.exe. It's going to give you an error saying it can't detect any registry or any settings, which is fine. Click OK, and it's going to do all that for you. And we're going to want to enable always boot in configure mode. This is, I wouldn't say it's too important, but when if you want to change your settings or anything, or say you want to change your resolution, if you don't have this and you need to go to the uh, the little config.ini folder that appears once you launch this for the first time, um, and then it'll be able to open this again. But I always put this on just in case, and all you have to do is simply launch the game, and now you have Classic Rebirth. There you go. It's that simple. Classic. Um, now that's this part of the video done. I'm going to show you guys how to install the actual speedrunning edition of this for speedrunners. Um, all you have to do is go back to the classic rebirth page, download the speedrunning edition, and then go into where it is downloaded. Uh, it is here and it is called Mod SR Crypto. Now, don't worry, it's not a crypto scam. Gemini is not trying to steal your information, I think. Um, <laughs> now, drag this into here. And that is now the mod installed. That is now how you speedrun the game. Simply open the EXE, and if you have this on, uh, this will boot again as always. And then click OK. And all you have to do is simply click the speedrunning edition because this is a new little selection since we have a mod. Open the game with the EXE, and you'll have everything the speedrunners need. It forces the Japanese version, it'll have all the built in stuff as usual. Um, and that's that part of the video done. Now on to the final bit of the video where we're going to be installing the new door and cutscene skip mod created by Res Evil Nemesis 30. This is able to work on the normal version of the game or the speedrun edition of the game. And to do this we're going to download it and head back into our main install folder. We are then going to go to the thing we've just downloaded, open it up, and then open up the very first thing you see, the RE2 door cutscene, which will open a new folder and then drag everything from here into the install folder for the game. It's going to replace everything, perfectly fine to do, do that. And then once all that's done, close this and move the bio2 1.10 supreme skip file into here. This is what we're going to use to open the actual game with. And once this is done, we're going to want to remove the two and the dash. So it's just bio2 1.10 supreme skip exe. And then once you open it, go through the same motions and then select the speedrun edition if you want to do the speedruns. And this should now work correctly. And I'll show you guys it real quick. You're probably going to get deafened. Oh, I didn't. I skipped it. Nice. Okay. So just to show you guys real quick, go into the game. Luckily, there's no audio on this. Otherwise, you'd be getting deafened. Uh, we're going to start the game real quick. Start and easy. And you're going to notice it's going to skip everything. Uh, I'm not touching anything, and we are in the game. There is nothing that we had to do to skip the cutscene or anything. Um, it's going to skip all the doors, and if you want to skip cutscenes, you just press the enter button or your use item button or shoot button, whatever that is, basically. That is this video done. 
If you have any questions or you need any help, feel free to comment on it. If you found the video informative, give it a like. Um, this is very different to the RE1 version, and the main reason I hadn't made a video yet is because I thought it was the same as the original version for the RE1 one, and I was getting a lot of comments in that video asking to make one for this, so here you go, and I hope it helps.